Who do I go to to get this information? And if it's you and you deny it, on what grounds is it versus this well, versus uh, have the authority uh, to deny you, it? You know, I, I have been asked that question several times. Let me first of all say that our student code of conduct is very clear, uh, state law very clear, and I'm very clear. And that is the fact that the, uh, I do not believe in allowing uh, uh, firearms on the university campus. Um, you and I can debate that all day long, and uh, we have good arguments, but I'm in charge and we're not going to do it. And so common sense, is, common sense in my, in my, uh, in my uh, view prevails. And, and I appreciate the fact that you want to do it. Uh, there is no uh, compelling reason in my view for us to change that, um, to change that, uh, uh, to change our code of, code of student conduct. Nor is there any reason for us to go to the state legislature and ask them to change uh, the policy. What do you have against people who don't do themselves? Uh, you know, I, I told you I'm not going to debate it. But I feel told you the fact that I have a very strong view, and you have one, and and I love you for it, but I'm just not going to allow it. And uh, you know, uh, I, I feel very strongly about it. I have an absolute uh, uh, view on this, and I've had it for a long time. I've studied the issue. I've looked at it. I'm a lawyer by training. Uh, I have uh, looked at these issues very, very carefully. It is not in the interest of a great university. We're about ideas and not guns, and I think that's what we're going to keep. So I thank you for your question. I'm an engineering student. I've come home late from the library early in the morning you know, many times. Um, so I'd like to share with you a, a real quick story from uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, I was traveling from my, my home on Summit 19th to a significant others on Patterson and Adams. Uh, upon my arrival, I found myself being blindsided and um, brutally assaulted. Um, uh, confrontation went on for a while. I found myself not able to get away from the perpetrator. Um, I saw no other means to get out of the situation than to draw my firearm. Um, I am a concealed handgun license carrier. I carry often, I carry responsible, responsibly wherever I am legally allowed to do so. Um, and I, I make this journey, not from my home, but from campus quite frequently um, to see my girlfriend. So if it had been any other night other than, this was just after finals week of fall quarter a year ago. If it had been any other night of the week, I would have been coming from, this, from school from the university, where I'm legally not allowed to carry, so I would have been unarmed. And I believe if this had happened during the week at that time, I do not think that I would be alive today because of the manner that I was being beaten and attacked. So with that said, um, with all due respect, uh, I would like to know why you believe you possess the authority to control the way that I choose to effectively defend myself after you just got done saying that you believe our students are responsible here and we act in responsible with yeah. Well, I'll, I'll just say it very simply. I'm the president of the university, and I have the authority, and I'm going to exercise it, period. And, and, uh, and I've thought about this, and I'm sorry about your issue. It's a very compelling story, but uh, there are other stories that we've been told about irresponsible behavior uh, with use of firearms. So, uh, so um, I can be very strong with this. I will not change my mind, and we will not have firearms on this campus, period. And, and I appreciate the passion of your views, but we will not have